Hello everyone, <clears throat> this is Leo from WorkCorrect and I want to show you how you can integrate GitLab with Jira on premises. Let's jump in and discuss first our Jiggy development panel, which allows you to see the pull request, <clears throat> the statuses, amount of branches, as well as create a feature branch. Assume you have this issue called N17. We already worked on it a bit, but now we want to create a feature branch. We click on here. We select our repository, we select our base branch, usually to be master, and then we can name the branch. In this case, uh, name this. So we do here create. Then the branch was created. We can quickly jump on GitLab and see if it appeared. And here's our branch, it is pretty straightforward. Um, so <clears throat> another feature. Jigit provides, you can see all commits and pull requests which were created with the issue key mentioned in the feature branch or in the change logs or commit messages on the pull request or just direct pushes. Uh, now let's jump in and I show you how to configure Jigit. So first you will need to come to your user settings, access tokens, and name the token here. For example, uh, Jira. GitLab integration. If you don't want to use the feature panel, sorry, uh, development panel, you only want to read commits and messages and pull requests, you may have uh, permit, permitted only read APIs. But if you want to create feature branches, of course, it will require write access as well. So for this demo, we used APIs. Then we have created a personal access token. See it, copy it, then we'll jump into Jigit, into applications, Jigit plugin configuration, and add a new one. We can name it, put up Jira demo, put the domain here, paste the token. In this case, we use organization, so we go to GitLab and copy from the URL uh, the name of the project as well as the repository. Uh, but in this case, let's copy just the name of the project, so this first one. And paste it in here, let's pick the group. We can also select which repositories we want, what is the default branch, uh, if we want to enable smart commits and do some actions. For example, if we want to transition an issue based on the commit message, you know, many other things like this as well as we want to index pull requests and display this repos from this configuration in the development panel. Otherwise, it will only uh, index pull requests and commit messages and link them to an issue. You always would click connection. If it's OK, you will save it. It will appear here. Uh, here's our connection and then it will index and update our issues with uh, pull requests and feature branches and you can use the development panel. If you have any questions or anything is not clear, please reach out to hello at moveworkforward.com and check our website. But otherwise, thank you very much. And least but not last, our app is uh, developed by Platinum Atlassian Marketplace vendor, Move Forward. So you see button on status as well as upper strata by trusted by more than 1000 organizations. Uh, it, it's available for Jira server and data center. And if you have any questions, please reach out and we are happy to help you with your environment stuff or any other new features. Uh, and, and last but not least again, <laughs> it supports GitLab, GitHub and Git uh, for code commit systems. Thank you very much.